this year's budget for the general funds being proposed at $190.7 million, which is an 8.3% increase over prior year's budget. Uh, about $14.8 million is a total increase in dollars. We are requesting to the board um, a 6.71 mil increase in order to create a balanced budget to equate to the expenditures that the district will incur during fiscal year 23 and 24. There is a 1% retirement contribution for the employers that we have to actually recognize um, that is dictated by the state. We have a 3.7% health insurance increase that is being dictated by the state that we have to fund. And then we also have uh, the teacher salary increase where the district is responsible for funding 25% of that increase. The state funds it at 75%. But again, based upon the population within your district and the education of those teachers, the district could actually end up funding more than 25% of those teacher salary scales. And here in Florence School District 1, we actually have 47% of our certified teachers are above that master's grade 12 with uh, masters with 12 years of experience. So that means there are more local tax dollars that are necessary in order to fund those teachers. Um, we have experienced teachers and we have well-educated teachers and we feel that they best serve our students. So we want to do everything that we can in order to fund them and it does um, incur a, a tax millage increase. So those are the three unfunded mandates and those are, are what are supporting the actual 6.71 mil increase that we're requesting for the board to approve. And uh, we are recommending that our classroom assistants go up to $15 if they're special needs, $15.60 an hour. And that is being funded. That's costing the district about $2 million. That's being funded through revenue growth. So residential growth, commercial growth. We have seen some growth in our local tax revenues due to that. So we are taking that and actually increasing salaries of other employees that are essential to the operations of the district and also to make the district more marketable and competitive within the area that we're at. As we hear and see, other business entities are starting to use the $15 as their minimum. We're setting ours for our classroom assistants who are instrumental in helping with the students. We also are moving our data operators up to a base salary of $30,000 a year if they're elementary, $33 for middle, and $36 for high school. Again, those are important critical positions as they count students and attendance, and that is what brings the funding from the state level into the school district. So we want to make sure we are hiring qualified individuals for those. And lastly, but not least, is a group of individuals that we have not adjusted salary scales for in the previous budgets, which are the assistant principals, and we're recommending to the board a $5,000 increase for each assistant principal. It definitely puts students first. It puts the money towards the individuals that support students in all ways for all of our staff. And again, I believe that we have sharpened our pencils to the best to minimize the impact to the taxpayers, but still provide quality services to our students.